Well, Mark, man, this is an incredible product, man. You taught me so much about making my own stuff in the world and not going to the store and buying anything. Because you got a tool now. You know, if I, you know, uh, if you could build a new product and not only just make one on a 3D printer. You know, if people know 3D printers, I mean, you can get 3D printers at your local ma maker, you know, show and things like this. But now you have a way to take that initial product and make a dozen or, or two dozen, you know, in just a few minutes. Now, with this machine that's over your shoulder, it looks like a <laughs> looks like, like you're going to make smoothies with it. But it really makes like dolls and fishing lures or or little plastic toys for people. And and, and it just seems to be taking the world over. You're, you're getting money on crowdfunding on Kickstarter for this thing and you're starting a whole new career. How'd you get into this thing? Uh, it's just been a, um, since I was little, it's been making things and, you know, come up with 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 ideas and, and build things and there's always got to be a better way of doing something is my mentality so to come up with the roto make um it, it filled a need basically starting out it filled a need it was just like you explained there um i can 3d print something but then when i want multiple copies of it it just takes a lot of time um you know you're, you're talking hours to do something where if you know a lot of times you'll print a hollow part and that's mm -hmm. the end use is a hollow part um, so you can, you can take those, you can make a silicone mold, or you can even one step, you know, back behind that is you can print your mold itself. So ah. you can actually, you could actually 3d print your mold, um, use a two part urethane resin air cure, put in the machine, rotational cast it. And now you've got a hollow part. The so big, if you were like a jewelry maker with some little, you know, chotskis they're making out of plastic or, or something like that, you could make a hundred of these things in, in no time, right? Right. Yeah. And you're taking the time from hours down to minutes. Um, yeah. And the thing is, once once you get one mold made, you can use that one mold, and like you say, you can make hundreds. You can, you know, depending on how you take care of your mold. You can take hundreds of them things and copy them over and over and over, you know, fast. Um, you and look your, at the your video. option is really sending it out to be manufactured, you know, a hundred or a thousand times, right? And right. that's going to take forever. Yeah, and it, it's a bridge between the, the cost of you know taking taking your one your one part. Now I want to go and make, you know, an injection mold of it. Uh, now you're talking thousands, you know, thousands of dollars to get the injection mold made. Um, to get a manufacturer lined up to make your mold, injection mold and stuff. Yeah, your end use, you know, if you're going to make 100,000 of these things, you're definitely not going to, you're definitely not going to do one at a time. But it's the bridge between making one and making, say, 5,000 or 1,000 right. of the same thing. It's a bridge to use in between there in a, in a desktop, you know, footprint. Mm -hmm. Um, for a machine for the for the so we have the, three right we have three D printers that make us the first one now so and if people don't have a home three D printer they could go to like one of the groups you hang out in the maker people have three D printers they'll show you how to get this done and, and you make one now and you said the 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 further step is when you need five thousand of these suckers but you may only need a dozen or a hundred and that's where you come in right. Yes, exactly. Where we come in, and, and, and there's there's artists out there that hey, I've, I've done a sculpture, uh, ah. a bust of, of this thing, and, and I want to make a limited edition run of them. Ooh, that's you know, so wonderful. They can do a clay. They can make their clay, you know, model to begin with, and and make a make a silicone mold off of that. And now I'm going to do a limited edition run of of 25. So uh. <laughs> you're not investing. You don't. You know, your your investment is. Yeah. You know, to get the thing, you know, is you're cutting the price way down. So well, it, it, you, uh, you'll pay for the machine just in one operation like that. Yeah, I, you know, if you get if you you know the, the right time and stuff. I, uh, you know, an example that you know we did is you know why would you hollow cast something? Well, you would hollow cast something for two reasons: weight and material. Um, I've got a product. I've I've got a an item that I that I roto cast. It's a it's a it goes on the top of a post. It's a horse's. A, a horse sculpture uh -huh. um, that solid you know, yeah you can you can take the mold you can pour it solid and you're going to end up with eight nine dollars worth of resin uh -huh. in that one mold and heavy and it's, <laughs> yeah and it's heavy so you take 
he take the exact same mold, the exact same thing, um, put very little, you know, put a lot less material in it, rotational cast it, which when you rotational cast apart, gravity, as it's turning, the stuff is curing and basically sticking to the mold. Uh, so it's not full cast, it's just the edges that you show and the yep. bottom and nobody knows it's like that Easter egg bunny you were telling me about, you know, right. that's hollow yeah. in the middle. <laughs> yeah, when you're a kid, you bite open an Easter egg. And yeah. you hey, where's all that chocolate? I got, I got robbed. Uh, but see, that way then you can go in, in the weight and the time. So the, the, the horse example, um, I've got eight, nine dollars worth of resin doing it ah. solid and casting it hollow. I've got two dollars and 25 cents worth of resin in it wow so right off the bat on every one i'm saving six dollars on every part and you know if you got to do a hundred of them there's six hundred dollars in wow. your pocket you just paid for the machine now you also said that somebody since you've been on kickstarter some of this thing by the way you made your goal like in the first week you know <laughs> so you're probably just sitting around you know counting your money now but but you said people are coming to you like somebody who, who's making uh, fishing lures or somebody making digital compasses you know right. want one of these things and all kind of applications that you never even know about Right, yeah, I never even consider until I got out there and you start talking to people and they, they see it and, you know, you get emails and, um, you know, and you're talking to other makers and you go to maker fairs and you're you're out talking to the people that actually make stuff and they're like, well, I could use it for this or I could uh. use it for that. Um, well, yeah, <laughs> you know, great. You know, that's <laughs> awesome. I'd love to hear what, you know, something that I designed, developed, built, you know, cut, made, the, made it all, it, it was all done um, by myself here, um, with a lot of support from, uh, from, you know, advice and stuff. But, you know, when it came right down to it, this is my, right. you know, well, this is mine. You're, you're oh, the I one got... who's going to take responsibility. So you might as well take the, <laughs> the praise too. But I mean, like you're the guy who go out and invent, invented the power drill or something like that. Yeah. You know, similar to that. So now all of us could use this, you know, to make everything else we want to make a lot easier. Like if we had, we bought a power drill, right? And that's what you're yeah, doing for us. Yeah, it's just another tool in, in um, kind of in your, your arsenal of stuff that you're yeah. using. You know, it's not a fix-all for everything, but, you know, there's a lot not of stuff out Neither there. is the power tool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, you've got to get the right tool for tell your us, right... Yeah, look, tell us about the, uh, the makers a little bit. People don't know, because my audience is pretty general. Like, what is makers and why should people get involved in that? Um, the maker community is just a bunch of um, grassroots type of inventors and, and makers, people that make things. Um, I mean, that's just, and it's an open, you know, the community, the maker community is a very giving and, you know, and sharing and, and knowledge and, and stuff out there. They just, they want to see other people, you know, other people make things. Ah. Uh, and, and they want to help you make things, and I want to help people make things, and and everybody wants to help make things because we need to get back to, you know, right. to America, to, to making right. our own stuff, you know, and, and not running out to certain stores and, mm -hmm. and, and buying something and that you throw away in, you know, a week it's broke or mm -hmm. whatever. You, you can, you, you make your own stuff and you fix Does your it. Does it cost stuff. a lot of money to be part of one of these communities or not? No, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> so yeah, I could just like go online and put in makers and I find a local group and and just say when they're having a meeting, show up and they'll tell me about all this neat tools to make stuff. Huh? Yeah. And, and they're, they're different all over. I mean, there's there's they're all different. Um, yeah. Some have, you know, it, it's a group and, mm -hmm. and sometimes some people charge memberships. You I know, see. So, um, us, our particular group um, here locally. Um, we have a small membership fee for every month, but it's more of, we meet once a week. It's more of being with like-minded people. Yeah. And, and, and if you have an idea, a maker's group, um, most maker group out there, I know ours is, uh, if somebody brings us an idea or, or you know, simple, it's like, Hey, I want to make this, uh, -huh. uh, how do I do it? Well, there's enough guys in our group and backgrounds are diverse enough that, we can offer support and we can offer advice and stuff on how to make. Wonderful. You know. Now your daughter really is involved in this too. I mean, how old is she? Like 10 or something like that? She's nine. Nine? She's nine years old and, you know, um, 
as I said earlier, you know, she could probably sit here and do the exact same interview. <laughs> you know, so this is a good place to bring kids and get them involved, you know, in a brand new future. Instead of learning how to shop at the mall, <laughs> they learn how to make things themselves. Yes, and that's the that's the maker movement um, is getting kids involved at an early age. That you know, we've 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 uh, we've taken that away from kids. Yeah, uh, kids don't. The the cool thing with a kid. They're not afraid to fail. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they don't know what it's like and don't, don't right. realize. <laughs> they come up with great ideas. My daughter is all, all the time coming up and saying, hey, Dad, can we make this? Hey, can we make this? Or what do you think of this? I, or, I would like to have something I could do this with. Uh-huh. So I can take that and, and show her and try to... Uh, Try to try yeah, to expand your mind, whatever. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so to find the Roto Make, but right yeah. now it's rotomake.com is the best place to start, right? And, and yeah. then you could go to Kickstarter, get be one of the first in your block <laughs> to get one of these things. So you're making things out in the basement or the garage or whatever, because it's like having a desktop printer, but you're making stuff, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, and that's that's my goal. I would like to have this on every bench. Every you know. bench, wonderful. Well, Mark, thank you so much for sharing everything you do and for encouraging people, particularly in America. We need more people like you to tell us how to make things ourselves and to learn more about Roto Make, and that's M A A K R O T O M A A K dot com, right? Yes, yes, yes. That thank is. you, Mark. Give your thank my you. best to your daughter too. Thank you.